about an hour and a half ago as the HTV-6 arrived uh, at what is known as the radial vector, or R-bar, about 1,000 meters below the International Space Station. That's the imaginary line drawn between the station and the Earth. This spectacular view of a series of thruster firings on the HTV-6 as it began to inch its way up uh, the radial vector towards the International Space Station was seen by external cameras on the International Outpost. Thomas Pesquet in the cupola uh, described uh, the view of the HTV as like a golden treasure box, echoing the words uttered by a Japanese astronaut Kamiya Yui uh, that uh, he was struck by uh, during the arrival of the last HTV on August 24, 2015. The HTV uh, so far uh, executing a textbook rendezvous for an expected capture uh, by um, NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough, the Expedition 50 commander, and Thomas Pesquet of the European Space Agency, who are in the uh, cupola of the International Space Station at the robotics workstation, ready to use uh, the Canadarm2 robotic arm to reach out and grapple a grapple fixture on the HTV-6 uh, as it moves uh, to within striking distance of its grapple uh, by uh, Kimbrough and Pesquet. The original grapple time was scheduled about an hour and a half from now at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. However, uh, the HTV-6, uh, uh, with all of its rendezvous maneuvers having gone by the book so far, uh, departed the 250-meter hold point about 24 minutes ahead of schedule uh, with everything uh, proceeding actually ahead of schedule, not only on track, but ahead of schedule. And so it is possible uh, that the grapple time could be advanced. Uh, the only constraint is uh, for the earliest go for capture time, which would be 4.28 a.m. Central Time, 5.28 a.m. Eastern Time, and that is based on uh, lighting. Uh, that would be the earliest go for capture uh, that would occur just after sunrise. Houston Station, in step 3, decimal 2, the crew is ready for the HTV approach to the capture point. Houston copies. In the uh, cupola of the International Space Station, uh, European Space Agency flight engineer Thomas Pesquet uh, indicating that uh, he and Shane Kimbrough have completed their review of procedures for the robotic capture of the HTV. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, the HTV-6 uh, continuing uh, a very methodical approach toward the capture point, uh, now just about 17 meters away, about to reach the capture point. This view now from the, the end effector camera on the uh, Canadarm2 robotic arm, looking dead straight on at the grapple fixture on the body of HTV-6. and uh, HTV-6 now holding at its capture point. There will be two sets of calls later on this morning during that installation procedure. First, the first stage capture, followed by second stage capture. That will mark the official uh, installation point uh, for the HTV, hard mated then uh, to the Nader port of the Harmony module of the International Space Station. And capture is confirmed. Capture confirmed at 4.37 a.m. Central Time, 5.37 a.m. Eastern Time. As the International Space Station and HTV-6 flew 250 miles over southern Chile.